So what are four financial fundamentals for first-time home buyers? Hello, this is Annie from Intero. Now, are you prepping to buy your first home? If so, it's one of the steps you should take early on is making sure that you're financially ready for your purchase. And here's just a few of the financial fundamentals you'll need to focus on as you set out to buy a home. Number one is to build your credit. Now, your credit is one element that helps determine which home loan you'll qualify for. Now, it also impacts your mortgage interest rate. While there are many factors that go into your mortgage application, a higher credit score could lead a, to a lower monthly payment in the long run. So, how do you make sure your credit is in the best shape possible when it's time to buy? Well, tracking your credit and disputing any errors that show up on your reports, uh, paying your bills on time, and this includes making loan payments and paying down any open lines of credit, uh, keeping your credit card balances low, uh, which is paying more than your minimum monthly balance when you're able, this can all help. Uh, number two is to kind of automate your savings for your house fund. Now you might also be wondering how you can achieve your down payment saving goals. And one of the best ways to save for anything, including a down payment, is to kind of set it and forget it. So if you receive a regular paycheck, ask your employer to direct a portion of that uh, payment into a savings account. And if you're a freelance worker or independent contractor, set up a recurring transfer from a checking account into a savings account to establish the routine. Uh, number three is to get pre-approved. So as you prepare for your purchase, you'll also need to have a good grasp on your budget and how much you'll be able to borrow for your home loan. Now that's where the pre-approval process comes in. Uh, pre-approval from a lender lets you know how much money you can borrow for your home loan and having that knowledge. Um, plus an understanding of your savings can really help you decide on your target price range for a house. Now from there, you can kind of start browsing for homes online and see what's available in your area in that general price point. And this can really help you understand your options so you can start to picture your future home. And number four, for customized advice, build a team of professionals. You know, the best way to make sure that you're prepared for your purchase is to contact, connect with a trusted professional. Having expert advisors in the industry will help you make strong decisions throughout the home buying process. <coughs> Pardon me, based on your specific goals, finances, and situation. And they do the market and can guide you towards the home of your dreams. So if you're ready to get the home buying process started, let's connect so you can begin to build your team of professionals today.